Hey guys, Terry with Computer Pro. Um, so uh, I was going to do a quick video on our uh, wall scanners and stud finders and so forth. So I'm going to bring in a couple things. We keep, you know, we kind of got a little bit of an array. We keep the, uh, like one of them I'm going to use in my bag here. And then I actually have a wall scan box with some other stuff. And I'll explain all that. Ugh. So these guys here. There's, I'm actually at home today. I'm not at the shop. <clears throat> um, so. All right, I guess I'll put them up on the old bar. Not a huge mess. I got to hang some, got to hang some art. So it's a little bit of a mess. I'm on my basement here. Um, I don't have a preview on my phone, shoot. All right, so for wall scanning stuff, <clears throat> we use a few, a few different things ranging from even like just magnets, right? Just magnets like this. We got a couple of them up here. Hopefully the camera will pick that up. Um, oh, Racketeers I think makes these, they're pretty cool. But these are just basically pretty strong magnets is all these are and i'll show you how those work in a minute and then actual as far as tools go inside this isn't like my daily bag this is like my extra tool bag okay and we actually have a garrett pro pointer which is in the metal detecting industry is what it's really for but all it does is identify metal okay it gets close and finds metal really quick so super handy they're not that expensive either they're really nice durable rugged um and then in my wall scan box we got a box and a pack out stuff that call wall scan and we've got um these are really 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 nice that you can find them all over the place probably the best quick wall scan unit i think out there that's not you know is, is as far as price and when you put everything together these guys are extremely hard to beat, super easy to use, um, all the way up to, well, and then these are pretty popular. It's just a magnet. You put it on a wall, it sits there, right? And it, it kind of tells you where it's at, similar to a regular magnet, only this kind of points to it a little bit. All the way up to a Bosch Detect 150. Um, they do have one new model now that's a 200 that's supposed to have, you know, color screen, a couple other benefits, but similar type of thing where it scans the wall. And we'll kind of give you our opinion and what we're doing with them. And for that, I'll go into what we used to call the jujitsu room, but there's no room in there now because we threw some weight equipment in there. So now it's just the, uh, I guess the weight room, but. So let me show you what that's like. <clears throat> Turn this light off. This one on. All right, so in here, I'm just gonna use this because I got some open, uh, <clears throat> some walls that I know it's on the other side because this is just paneling. This is just like a workout room. I'm just gonna set this up here. This is giving me a preview, so I'm gonna hope that the angle's right on the video, and if it's not, um, I apologize. Might have to reshoot it, but it should be good. I'm wearing a chest strap with the GoPro, so it's hard to tell the angle since there's no preview, which really sucks, but anyways, okay. So, um, there's just normal studs behind these walls. We put this up, it's just paneling in wood, right? So that's literally all this is, paneling in wood. There's an outlet there the same there so i'll start with the the big one first right so the bosch we don't use we thought we'd use this it would be the end all be all right but and it is nice it's cool there's there's different different modes like there's drywall mode uh, metal signal view which is kind of cool i probably use that the most that's just raw data raw signal of what's in the wall it's like an ultrasound it scans it and you know um concrete wet concrete deep concrete in floor heating like some specialized stuff but so basically when you what you do is you put it i'll go down here 
try to adjust the camera good for you. So you hold start and you move the sensor over and it starts picking up stuff. It's on these nice wheels and so forth, right? And then you go back. When you go back, it identifies, you know, like there's a stud. Um, there's actually two objects there and it's beeping at me and I'm above electrical. So as you can see, there's something there, right? And I mean, that's pretty much, there's a regular stud. You know, you can center, it pretty much shows you. Um, if we go to signal view, that's kind of, that's just raw data. So as you're rolling it, right, it starts picking up like a more solid object. So you can actually see that there's something there. Um, Cause there's things in the wall. It's literally picking up things. Obviously there's something majorly there. So there's another electrical thing. I mean, it's really, and it would probably work better on actual drywall. Um, it's nice, but it's not, it's very expensive too, you know? It's not the end all be, be all that you would think it is though. You know what I mean? It's, it's really not. I, I had high hopes for this. I'm not saying it's a bad product. It works really, really, really good. And it depends on what you're doing. I think in concrete and identifying metal and so forth, you know, it's probably gonna be a little bit more uh, suited to you, you know? Um, oops, gotta hold it there. See, you with, with this, you kind of have to hit start if you're on one of the modes and you scan across and then you scan back and it starts analyzing and picking up things and so forth. It's not just like a put it on it stud finder. They make a model of 120 that was more of a just put it on it like a regular stud finder and it had a little, if I remember, it had a little laser that shot up and it marked it and so forth. This is more of a thing to tell what's inside the wall. Like I said, we use signal view the most when we're, you know, not quite sure. Um, and then, you know, if, but I mean, that's kind of rare. I don't, you know, in, in hindsight, this isn't as valuable to us as I thought it would be. It's really not, um, unfortunately, because it was a little costly. All right, guys, let's go back in here where there's some drywall because that's some funky wall board and it's just probably not the best example, okay, in here. Um, these other ones, this is a really, the thing I like about these, this is super easy to use. You put it on the wall, you hit the button, right? I got nothing here. Let me slide it over a little bit. And I'm starting. This is flashing electrical a little bit because there's electrical under me. There's the stud. It's the width of a stud. In this particular one with these amount of LEDs, one, two, three, four, there's about five. And that's the width of a two by four going that way, obviously. Um, so yeah, so you pretty much know instantly the middle of your stud is about right there, okay? So that, that's just cool about these. When you're just talking about wiring and you just have to find a cavity, get in there and find your channel to wire up or down, for ease of use, this doesn't boot up. You just, there's batteries in it. You just pull it out, you hit the button and there's your stud right there. I mean, there's, it doesn't get faster than that, right? Like that's it. Um, so that's why these are so nice, so nice. Even though we've got this big, I don't remember, this thing was like 800, 900,000, whatever these were, it was really expensive. Um, we use these, we got a bunch of these. This just happens to be in here. We got a bunch of blue ones in the van and stuff, but we use these the most by far. The other one, simple magnet, right? So you just, you know, you just kind of like all magnets, you go on the wall until you find your stud and eventually it's gonna, it's gonna stick. And you can kind of say, okay. And it's roughly the same spot as before. I know my stud is there. You could do that with any of these magnets, right? I mean, it's just, it's just a magnet. So Racketeers makes a really strong one. Um, you know, it's easy to identify that. After we identify where they're at, um, we usually stick a magnet like that or like these on it and leave them there. Like there's that one. <clears throat> Let's stick this back for a second. And then we know, right, 16 inch, you know, da 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 da, da. there's gonna be another one around there. There they go. So I know there's a cavity to 
drill in basically, right? It's like right there. So that's, that's where these are handy because you can just, you know, you get a pack of these and you can just leave them there. So you can visualize as I'm, imagine if we're in an office and this was a drop ceiling, right? So as I'm in there, I look down, I kind of see my path. So wiring becomes really, really easy with magnets. And these are really cheap too, you know? The other thing, like I said, is a pro pointer. It'll find obviously metal, you know? Um, it's probably plastic, right? So it'll find metal, like actual metal. I wonder if these are aluminum. That's bizarre, yeah. Might be some plastic, but anyways, actual metal. It lights up, right? So the same thing, like I know one's there, I know one's there. So sometimes a combination of this and magnets are super quick. Like you walk around, you scan and you kind of know the area and you're like, okay, there's one around there, right? So that's where this is handy too. Um, and this is gonna pick up, like if you're going up and down, getting it like that, there's that metal, there's that, cause this is electrical. It's probably, my guess is it's going up, cause we're in the basement. It's gotta be going up somewhere. Riding up the wall. So it's probably wired like that, right? So that's where these are really, even though it's not made for cabling. I was a little kitty, go on buddy. What's the matter? Um, it's our new little kitty. <laughs> Anyways, not made for cabling. Very, very, very handy for quickly identifying studs and metal basically, right? So sometimes this or a basic magnet or a combination is by far the fastest. But really, as far as what we use um, the most, it's going to be this guy in combination with these once we, you know, get our bearings and find out where stuff's at. We pop those on and then we just have our visual channel. So, so that is pretty much it. I might even sell this guy on eBay or something. I'm not sure. We just don't use it enough. You know, I think if we did more, I mean, we do concrete and, you know, brick obviously and stuff like that, but it just, boy, I mean, it's a nice unit. I hate to give it a bad review and I, I don't mean to. It's just for us, for what we're doing with low voltage, we don't use it as much as I thought we would use it, okay? They do have a newer model, a 200, has a color screen. As far as I can tell, the technology is basically the same aside from the color screen and stuff. So, um, yeah, so take that for what it is. But in terms of being fast, nothing beats these guys. Basic magnets, you know, markers like this, <clears throat> and really, a pointer, a uh, metal detector pointer. So that's kind of how we roll for um, for our low voltage stuff and <clears throat> like identifying studs for uh, cabling.